Geometry on the SSA exam got you scratching your head? Don't fret. Today, we're diving deep into question 2 from the study guide. Stay with me and we'll decode this together. Hey there, everyone! Ready to tackle another SSA exam question? Let's get ahead quick with SOQ Rick. Today, we're zooming in on geometry, a fascinating area of mathematics. We'll be focusing on question 2 from the SSA exam study guide. And for those who haven't had a chance to check it out, I've linked the full study guide in the description below. Before we jump into the question, let's talk a bit about geometry. It's a branch of mathematics that has been around for centuries, dating back to ancient civilizations. Geometry is all about understanding shapes, sizes, properties of space, and how different figures relate to one another. It's not just about solving problems on paper. It's used in architecture, art, engineering, and even in nature. Time to explore our question. It reads, the total length of fencing needed to enclose a rectangular area 46 feet by 34 feet is... First, let's visualize this. Imagine you have a garden that's rectangular and you want to put a fence all around it. How much fencing would you need? To solve this, we'll find the perimeter of the rectangle. The formula for the perimeter is 2 times the length plus 2 times the width. Let's do the math. 2 by 46 feet plus 2 by 34 feet equals 92 feet plus 68 feet equals 160 feet. But wait, the options are in yards. Remember, 3 feet make a yard. So, converting, 160 feet divided by 3 equals 53 and a third yards. The correct answer is D, 53 and a third yards. Now, let's see how the answer key approaches this problem. The answer key confirms that the correct answer is indeed D. It uses a straightforward formula to determine the perimeter in yards. The formula given is 2 times length plus width divided by feet in a yard. Let's break it down step by step. Before we begin, let's recall the PEMDAS rule, which stands for parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. Using the PEMDAS rule ensures we handle mathematical operations in the correct order. Step 1, following PEMDAS, we'll handle the operations inside the parentheses first. Combine the length and width, 46 plus 34 equals 80. Step 2, multiply the sum by 2. 2 times 80 equals 160. Step 3, convert the total feet to yards, 160 divided by 3 equals 53.333. Step 4, express the decimal in fraction form, which gives us 53 and a third yards. This method aligns with our earlier calculation, reaffirming that our answer is correct. Fun fact. Did you know that the ancient Egyptians used basic geometry to build the pyramids? So, when you're solving these problems, think of yourself as an architect of solutions. Always visualize the problem. A quick sketch, even a rough one, can give you clarity and make the solution more apparent. And when converting units, like feet to yards, always double check to avoid simple mistakes. If you found this breakdown helpful, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And if you're curious about how we tackled an algebra question in our last video, click on the link on the screen to check it out. Remember, understanding the types of questions on the SSA exam can give you a significant edge. So make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications to stay updated with more insights. Drop any questions or topics you'd like covered in the comments below, and let's continue our journey together. I'll see you in the next video.